artist Andrea Kirk with the channel The Art Chick and I wanted to share a really fun experience that I recently had with my family. We traveled to the Dominican Republic where I had the opportunity to teach art to some Dominican children at a local school and I had some connections and I was able to get with the director and we um, were able to pull off this event. So I brought scratch board art because I thought that would be the easiest thing to teach them. And we had approximately 40 to 50 children and we worked out in the schoolyard. I didn't have a board to work on so I just kind of worked against the wall and the kids watched and then they mimicked what I did. And it was really neat. I had someone there translating and the whole experience was just amazing. And then afterward we gave out American candy and I think that overall the kids just had such a great time and I think I even had a better time than they did. It was such a neat and fulfilling experience. So I wanted to share that with you and then also after you watch that portion of the video, at the very end I have a tutorial of that same project that we did in the Dominican. So stay tuned and if you have any beginners or if you are a beginner, this is a really fun project and I know that you'll enjoy it. So have a good time and thank you. Yo voy a enseñarle a usted cómo yo voy a hacer un, un destino en este mismo que está.
Gracias, por favor, ahora.
For this art project, you just need scratch board and a wooden stylus. I love the simplicity of this project. So all you have to do is use your finer tip uh, wood pencil and we're just going to draw a line or I should say scratch a line because this is scratch board but you're going to come up from over here on the left side and just scratch all the way up to about here and then back here you will do another scratch line and this will be the water line or the horizon line and that one goes all the way across like that and I really like the sparkly one it's really fun and it has a really cool sparkly effect okay from here you are going to draw the palm tree so you're, you're just going to do a curved line up and then another curved line on this side like this and just come to a point and from there you will draw three coconuts and have them overlap so one two and three and then from here I want you to do some lines for your palm leaves and notice how I just curved them I think we'll actually do six branches. Let's also do a sun. So we will have that sun arch from left to right on that side. And we also need to do an outline for the grass or some tropical plants. So just outline here. like that and from here we can do a starfish so everyone knows what a star looks like so you just do an outline of the starfish and then we'll fill that in here in a second okay so let's start with the Sun and I want you to scratch that out completely And you will have to blow away the black that you scratch away so you can either brush it or blow it whatever you want to do okay and then from here I want you to take that fine tip scratch tool and we are just going to scratch in the reflection in the water Okay, and those can just be random squiggles. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. And then from there, we are going to do the leaves on the palm tree. Okay, so you just simply do curved lines on the bottom side of the branch. And notice as I get closer to the coconuts, I kind of turn those curves. And they don't all have to be parallel to each other. You can do some that are longer than others. And then on this side, you just sort of wrap it around like that. So little half circles. And do the same thing up here. So curve your lines around. And again, as you get closer to the coconuts, you just make your lines a little bit longer and have them come out over here on the left side and then we can do some on the end and then some on the other side but notice how the leaf just sort of wraps behind like that okay it makes it look a little more realistic this one you will see the leaves on both sides so there's that side and then you will see some on this side as well because the branch isn't turned like those are. But see how pretty that looks. Okay, and do the same thing over here on this side. Okay, and I did just a couple of small ones on the right. And then repeat the process. And just kind of fold those over like that. So little half circles. And then this one we can show both sides 
as well. From here, you're going to scratch the coconuts. And if you want, you can leave a black edge on the right side. That will just show a shadow. And then from here, we are going to scratch some texture in the bark. So you just do some squiggles in a diagonal line like this. And notice how I disguised the lines that were there before. And then you can overlap or extend the trunk outward like that to look like it's coming up out of the ground. From here, you are going to do a line on the opposite side like this. Okay, and that just gives a really cool texture to the bark. So it's a diagonal line on the other side. You can even do some texture on the outer edge. So just go along there and add some additional squiggles. And then from here, we are going to color in the leaves, or <laughs> I should say scratch away the leaves. This project is super simple and you can do it with anything. So if you have a picture that you really like and you wanna try doing a scratch art of that picture, you can do the rainbow art, you can do the white. This pack that I used has a lot of different colors. You can do a white background with color. You can do a black background with the sparkle or with the color. And it's just really fun. And now we can color in our starfish. Make that sparkle. And then for the edge here, let's just do sand. So I'm just doing little dots. I'm kind of coloring along the edge and then I'm doing little dots from that. So the dots will just come into the black a little ways. I would even have it come underneath the tree. And just make it random. Add a few more lines out here if you want to expand the reflection. And there you have a beautiful beach scene. It was super easy. So I would recommend that you experiment and try other pictures and just really enjoy the process. It's good to find art projects that are relaxing and fun and easy and this is definitely one of those. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for tuning in today. For my young Dominican friends, I wanted to say thank you in Espanol and I have to have a notepad here because I will just mess this up. So don't laugh at me, but this is what I wanna say. Gracias. Let's try it. Gracias a los niños por dejarme estrenarte. Let's try it. Gracias a los niños por dejarme estrenarte. I think I did it. I think I did it. Be sure to like and subscribe for many more fun projects to come. See you next time.